The following preview has been approved for appropriate audiences by the Motion Picture Association of America, Inc. Well, you guys have failed, like, a long time ago. I mean, you're letting people, like, cut people's heads and dicks off on screen and splatter them into blenders. I mean, I don't know why you guys think you're, like, still performing a role in life. I mean... And who's these appropriate audiences? I mean, what are we dealing with here? I mean, this is a Disney movie. Is there a restriction here or not? I mean, come out with it. I'm sure I'm one of the audience members that are to be excluded. I'm sure Disney would gladly forego the 10 bucks they could earn from me and just assume block me from watching this movie if they had the power to do so. And I'm sure they will in the coming years. That's why I'm rushing to get these out. Let's begin the trailer. For, this is called Trailer Number 11, downloaded from Apple. Trailer Number 11 of John Carter. A lot of trailers. We're already ready to stop it. We open on black. They show the Coliseum again in a different era than the Gladiator. And then they fade to black again. What's next? The slaves they're leading out to the Coliseum? Let's see. Oh, they're leading the slaves out to the Coliseum. And it looks just kind of like Gladiator, too. They got the regular slave on the right that's part of the system, and this sort of, like, estranged Spaniard on the left who is thrown into the mix accidentally, but he's there, and he's going to be the one that succeeds because they're not expecting him to just be a laydown like the normal slave who's hunched over. Let me guess. Next, we're going to see the jeering Americans in the crowd. There they are, only they're green. They're green with envy. Those are the regular Americans right there. All right, all right, let me get this straight here. Basically, they're redoing Gladiator. Let them be crushed. Only Russell Crowe is 10 years younger, and the emperor for the Greeks is now green with horns that, that look like they could be from an elk. I mean, you think that's really creating an original character here? You, gotta, you, take, the, you take the emperor of Greece... And you throw horns on him, give him a flat top. <laughs> I mean, come on, it's still a human, right? I mean, take the horns off, you're looking at any John Doe right there. Whoa, that's the money shot. That's the big shot. So now instead of a chariot and some armed Grecians, we're dealing with what appears to be a hundred-foot St. Bernard that mated with a manatee. So, let's take a look at this creature. They're not going to show us much, just the, probably the growl, I imagine. We'll see the growl. Wow, what a move. Let's go back and see what John Carter did. John Carter looks at him like, Ah, oh, man, I gotta stay after in social studies class again? He's shackled, yet he jumps 10,000 feet up in the sky. Like Superman. Grabs a javelin. I guess one of the green guys tried to help him out. Gra does this amazing jump and grabs a fucking spear while mid-air. And I'm guessing, just call me crazy for doing this guess. This is a fresh watch. I'm guessing he's going to hit this 5,000-pound fucking St. Bernard right where it hurts and put him right out like David and Goliath. I'm just guessing. Let's see if they're going to shrink our minds any more than they already have. And down he goes! Like the dirty dog he is. Look at him! It's a fucking walrus. It's a St. Bernard with walrus teeth. That's the only thing we're dealing with right now. And he's got the... He's got the... The, the coloration of a polar bear. How creative. You killed him with one blow. You killed him with one blow. I'm impressed. I, I, uh, I think I have a job for you. I'm impressed. Did you see his face, too, after he asked him that? I like how they put things together in a trailer. I mean, this scene happens different from that scene, but he says you killed him in one blow, and he turns around as if to say, yeah, I fucking killed him in one blow. What do you think? I was going to take two blows? Let's keep going. We're only 30 seconds into the trailer. Disney, wow! Disney, you think you could have came up with your own idea? Oh, look at this! Oh! 
Oh, while we're plagiarizing, why not grab all of Star Wars? Let's take the whole anthology, the Republic, the pod racers, everything. So first they grab Gladiator, change the people to green, change the, the chariot to a St. Bernard. Then they go in and rip off Star Wars. You know, maybe add an extra jetpack on the plane and make the walkway to the Republic a little longer. When I saw you, I believed that something new can come into this world. Oh, wow, that's deep. So this green alien dude sees a white guy from Venice Beach and assumes he makes this grand assumption that something new could come into the world. That's really grand, man. I knew this was coming. I knew this was coming. The, the old crystalline GPA system. They're gonna GPS. They're gonna find the the map to the treasured land and kill the bad guy using her power as an ancient mystic to. to oh, it's beautiful. It's so inventive. God, where did they find the writer? Probably earned himself like forty million for this. You, are John Carter of Earth. Yes, ma'am. Look at that. He's happy to meet his little Pocahontas. That's right. It's me. I'm John Carter of Earth. Here's a little flash shot of my hair blowing in the wind. Yeah, I killed the 5,000-pound St. Bernard with the walrus tusks. That was me. One blow. I was shackled. I jumped 500 feet in the air and came down cracking him with one shot. Yeah, the green people are already talking about me. What's your name? Pocahontas? Oh, I love it. I love it. This is substantially more of a challenging fight because you can't kill 150 armed men on rhinoceroses with one blow. Even though they're smaller, it's not a one. You can't just hit the heart of the brain. I mean, you've got to actually attack each one of them. How does he react? He takes a small breath of air in. This isn't going to be a big one for John. Here comes the music. Oh my god, please tell me they didn't take General Grievous out of Star Wars 2 and just add a pair of tusks to him. I mean, they're releasing Star Wars this year too, what's going on? I guess, they, oh, they can do that now, because they bought the Star Wars rights. Right, so technically they can, they can rip off Star Wars now. Oh, that's why people are like, why did they buy Star Wars? It's already had its prime. Ah, they're going to rip it off into like a thousand more movies. Why didn't I think of that? Look at them together now, working as a team. He's got his old javelin axe thing, and she's got the bow and arrow, just like Katniss Everdeen. What happened to this place? A new power threatens to destroy our city. That's what happened to this place. We were all living a great life like Native Americans, farming our land, telling stories, not working for the man, and this dude comes along with the fucking blue and gray eyes, and takes shit over and starts making us do gladiator fights for his own amusement. Same exact fucking thing happened on Earth. I mean, the Greeks, they were all fucking... The Romans, they were living a beautiful time before the general dude came along, an uh, emperor guy, and, and put him in the fucking Colosseum for his own pleasures. You know, it's the same fucking thing. It's gladiator. It's Earth. It's America. That's Obama, only he's white. Oh my god! Please tell me they didn't take Jabba the Hutt, too! Look at this! They gave him an extra couple of sets of legs, put him on all sixes, shortened his tail, the face is exactly the same, the eyes, the nose, the molar composition, they even got the same expression on the guy, it looks just like Jabba the Hutt! You are ugly, but you are beautiful. A little bit of irony. And that's the same scene from Star Wars 2, where the... Where the where the green guys that go are uh, summoned to fight for Luke Skywalker, John Carter. John Skywalker, we'll call him. He will fight for us! Get on. There she is, my little Pocahontas, ready to get disrobed and fucked really hard by basic Carter. We did not cause this! But this very night, we will we end, end it! it. Ah, we're with you now, John Carter. Our tusk green people didn't have it in them. We needed a nice hunk from the Disneyland to fucking help us. Thank you, John. We will follow you. He dives into a pack of rhinos. 
I'm assuming he wins that fight um, without having known anything else about the movie. As it's not due in until March 9, and we're not there yet. And when it comes, it's coming in Disney Digital 3D. It's coming in real 3D. It's coming in IMAX 3D. Let me ask you something. What did this movie do to deserve to come in all these beautiful formats and all these wonderful distribution lines and reach the whole world so that every parent can take their kid to see it? Because, oh, it's Disney. Of course it's going to be good. It's a pile of absolute garbage. I mean, you could give me a handy cam in an hour in the mall and I'd film a fucking documentary asking people questions that would be about 50 times more exciting than this piece of hunk of junk. You think I'm getting IMAX distribution? I'm telling you, it's a corrupt system. That don't look like a fair fight. You are ugly, but you are beautiful. You will fight for us! Get on. We did not cause this. But this very night, we will end it! It's too late once. I won't be again. 